we've uh, looked for some young speakers and we found one. Till Winkler, you're a senior research manager at Scopus in Germany. Yes. Welcome. Thank and you. And you're much. actually um, you're doing a talk. And let me, I, I quickly wrote down when that was. It's tomorrow, right? At uh, 9:35 on Channel One. Yes. People can actually see you talk about a user experience uh, in the digital age. And then next to you, we have two students, but you have to help me because we literally just pulled you off the floor. Yeah. So what's yes. your name and where are you from? <laughs> uh, my name is Daniel from Colombia. I'm from Universidad de La Sabana. I'm Cassidy, I'm from the University of Georgia. And, and what brings you to Congress here? You're in the bright red t-shirts as a yeah. student guide. What are you guys doing? Uh, basically, we help with the logistics. We're here to learn, to, to get to meet new people. And that's about it, yeah. So SSI sponsors our um, registration and we get to come to SMR and volunteer and we get to network and learn and meet each other and meet other people from around the world. And what has it been like so far to walk around here? I think it's been very encouraging. Um, everybody in the industry seems to be really supportive of the young people here and they all want to hear what we have to say and they're also willing to share their advice. So it's been really cool. Yeah. Well, Till, and I think you're proof of that, that we all want to hear what the youngsters have to say, because you actually submitted a paper and got selected to go on stage. I did. How, how, well, at what moment in time did you think, well, I'm going to write it all up and see if I get there? Now, this sounds very corny, but I actually, like, with a colleague of mine, we discovered that market research is sort of conservative, and with all the UX teams and designers out there and stuff like that, a lot of things are changing, and it kind of bothered us. So. We figured out new ways to maybe improve that, and I actually just wanted to get the word out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, like to the community, just tell them. I think we found the solution, mm -hmm. young and stupid as we are. Um, so just get it out there, and I think they liked it. I mean, otherwise I wouldn't be here. Exactly. But you you took another way to do that instead of the the yes competition that we devote a lot of it. You, you didn't just record a one minute video. You wrote a paper. How how did you get your your environment, your boss, so to speak, to to grant you the time and effort to do this? Well, I actually have to applaud him for doing that or allowing me to do that because he's very open-minded and he understands that the concept of what I'm talking about is very young and he just lets me do it. He doesn't, you know, there's CEOs out there who go in front and just be like, all right, I'm going to take over. He's not doing that. He read it, he liked it, he tried to understand it um, and then just let me go my way. Go he's actually it. here just watching me and he just... Like so maybe we should give him a little shout out. This is Scopos in Germany, right? That is right? very right. <laughs> there you go. Now, let's, let's broaden this a bit. Um, this is the market research industry, the insights industry. W what excites you of this industry? Why did you want to move into this field? Um, so I'm a psychologist. I ma mastered in psychology at 24. And there's two things that get me really excited about market research. First of all, you observe people. People are so complex. Like, why do you like this suit? Why do you buy this suit? Why do you just, it's everything is so complex and understanding it is interesting. And the second part is you always test new ideas, new products, right? You never test old things. So whenever something new comes out. You're always on the out, forefront of innovation. Yeah, exactly. Something new comes out, Amazon Echo or something else, you're there. So you're understanding people while you're always getting new input. And I think that's really exciting. And you get paid for that. Exactly. So yeah. that's that's your dream job. Yeah, sort of. How's that feel? What are you studying at the moment? Uh, I'm currently an undergraduate student. I'm yeah. doing computer engineering and marketing. Okay. And well, this is like kind of the combination of both marketing research. All right. So are, are, you, are you considering a career in the insights industry? Absolutely. Like, I think it's fascinating. I'm a very people-oriented person. And then marketing research is about people. It's about like studying people and understanding people and trying to make them happy. Uh, I like it a lot. Cool. And, and for you, what is your background? I'm getting my master's in marketing research. So we're Literally, it's like spot yes, on. it's very um, concentrated, which is we're very fortunate to be a part of the program at the University of Georgia. Um, but what excites me most about marketing research is that we really are helping businesses make better world for consumers. So we really are part of a bigger picture. Cool. That's true. Yeah, that is beauty. And, and we talked a lot about this uh, earlier today, about the entrepreneurial spirit in the industry. And this was one of the key findings that the big CEOs are seeing. That if we want to attract the young, we have to talk about impact, right? How, how is that at your company? Um, the impact? Well, um, we learned is that like um, uh, at Crea, they give like 20% of time to do good, to work on good projects. Oh, okay. Um, we don't do that because we have too much work to do, but um, 
I guess what we do is we just allow people to bring in thoughts. It's always been that way. I've been there for six years now, and they're always encouraged people to think. And when they do, they provide resources, they provide money, they provide time. And it's it's not a 20% fix, do whatever you want, but it's like, hey, I got a girl to give. Go, Go for it. Do it. It's um, actually where I, to, sorry, uh, how I got there where I am now, but always just having new ideas. Some of them worked out, some of them didn't, but it's like fail fast, speak fail cheap, right? right? Yeah, exactly. Because if you keep the ideas in your head, then they're never going to come exactly. out. Exactly. But it's, so, it's very open. Uh, we try to encourage new employees and colleagues just to speak up, bring up the ideas, and if they fail fast, fail cheap, and just you figure out where it goes. And you learn from it's it. No, nobody really knows where the whole thing is going. You just kind of have to try to find your way. Uh, and so they, our company just encourages us to do so. Now, if we zoom in a little bit on your experience here in New Orleans, because this video is going to go out to future students who might want to apply for the same program, or future young professionals who are considering whether they should or should not submit a paper. Can you share a little bit of what it's like, what, what's positive about the experience of being here for the, these two, three days? Well, definitely as a student who uh, will be graduating soon, just being able to network with professionals in the industry, um, job offers, getting an idea of what's out there, what new technologies you might want to be learning, um, what companies are interested in you, just lots of different learning opportunities. And also just meeting other students who are interested in the same thing as you and just geeking out together. Geeking out together, <laughs> yeah. that's what's happening here. Yeah. yeah nice one. And for you? It's been amazing like to learn to meet these people with so much experience in the field. Like. You, we just go do, to them. Do you feel that people are open for you to talk to you as a student? Yes, many of them they are, and they are really keen to tell their experiences and they answer all of our questions. We just say a lot of questions to them. We ask them. What, what, what kind of questions are you asking when you're here? We ask like, oh, what do you think about this topic, or what is going to be the new trends, or what do you think you should, we should focus on, or like, you think we're on the right track, or how do you think this is going to be? So really, and they really, really content-driven discussions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Academic nice. rigor. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Geeking out. <laughs> yeah. And what is it for you like as a young professional, Till? What, what is it like to be a part of this? I think the conversations we have here and the discussions are very open. It's not too salesy. You know what I mean? It's very, there's no barriers. So I talk to clients, I talk to colleagues, I talk to uh, young students, and it was all very open. And so I like this. Uh, second of all, the, the ISMR conference is very professional. So um, you just, they just make room for you to meet people. Yeah. And I'm not saying that because I stand here. No, uh, no, no. But we're, we're making room for the online people to meet us as well, yeah, right? We're exactly. extending the, the, the same principle. Yeah, but it's very just uh, an exchange in the community because, like in our company, you know, it only comes from just talking, speaking up. And you're like, I have an idea. What do you think about that? That's kind of what the conference is in a bigger scale. Worldwide people speaking up. You're like, I think I have an idea. Um, and I think that's just amazing. Like, cool. I've never experienced, seriously, I've done that for a while, sort of a while, but I've never experienced so many interesting conversations and presentations as I did here. Wow. Well, this is a great uh, promotion for Congress <laughs> next year in Amsterdam. It's close to home, right? That a little is bit true. more travel for you guys, but uh, bit, I bit. wish and I hope we all see you back within the Come SMR over. community. Um, so. By the way, are you, you're still under 30, right? Yes. You're already a member of the Young SMR Society? I am, yes. And for you guys? Not yet. Not yet. Go check yeah. it out, but the soon. Yes Lounge, yes.smr.org. Mm -hmm. That's where you guys should all connect. Thank you very much for sharing your Thank experiences you and, uh, and have a great Congress. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Bye-bye.